can a lot of people asking me for 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 health mm, uh, yes. mm, yes. and also Rahu Ketu what they experiencing <clears throat> in detent chart in detent yes. chart uh, uh, the, a lot of question is is the detent chart is connected with a typical profession or is it mixed karmic uh, with the profession or, or is it just just aspect what they can aspecting a uh, tenth yes. tenth house yes. okay the thing is that regarding health first mm -hmm. if you go into health first is that um, health obviously the, it depends a little bit on your chart obviously big things depend on what your past karma is and which you bring into the present life okay so when you bring it into the present life there is some stuff which you're not done right mm -hmm. and you get the results of that from past not because something you're doing wrong right now okay mm -hmm. but there is always a way to live on earth like diet posture speech through which you can make your health better no matter what the past thing is you can do the right action in the present you know you can take precaution from your side to do the right thing and then your health will stay better no matter what uh, period you're running planetary period no matter what your chart is you know so th there's some things which people should do automatically okay which i've been telling in my other interviews and videos and people should go for the peace gita book which can which will come out in polish yes so, yes which is working on it yeah it's so in that come out soon. like because being well physically well you know is a, as you know very well is a mental thing as well yeah you know yeah. like it's a psychological thing as well so like on three levels let's say spiritual a mental psychological and then physical yeah so if you you want wellness on all three level so if there's any problem in any other level physical also suffers mm -hmm. so you get physical health issue you know so we have to make all three work right yes, yes so that is the whole point of like human life on earth like everyone wants to stay healthy right no one wants to get sick or anything so so for that we need to have a life right lifestyle and the, i think the vedic thing has the right lifestyle mm -hmm. for having a healthier life like i always Jyotish, all are connecting to having a more healthier life. Yeah. So there are obviously things which you can learn from Jyotish. For example, if you have an ascendant, for example, you know, like uh, if you have any kind of ascendant, like Capricorn, it's the earth sign. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then uh, it goes into your ascendant lot, goes into water sign. Okay. So your uh, basic constitution will be more kapha. In our way, there are three constitutions yeah. Vat, Pit, and Kaf. Okay. So, what is more airy, pitta is more fiery, and kapha is more watery. Okay. So, once you have watery constitution, then the food for you, the diet is different. Yes. Oh, that's, that's for sure. But so, so, accordingly, so that's how Jyotish helps. Okay. Like what you should eat, how you should be. So, there are these different things. One has to actually learn about one's own self and body and stuff to know what to do with it you know so so we we have to go into these kind of things so health is as a whole topic so people if they go into the vedic things jyotish ayurved and learning how to be like with your food diet like vegetarianism and what to eat in veg as well like and all of those things have to be considered you know what you have to do with the body you know because i said always human body comes without comes without manual you know, yeah. you don't have a manual for it. So, it's so multi -level, learn, multi level, yeah. Yeah, we'll have to learn how to actually live, you know. So, all these sciences, Jyotish, Ayurved, are there to help just with your actual living so that you live healthily. And the second thing about the D10 chart, which you're mm -hmm. talking about, see, the D10 is actually not just about your profession, actually, it's your place in the grand scheme of things you know there's a work which happens on earth okay what is your part uh -huh. in that work that is detailed if you have a, like a simple profession like okay you are just doing a job or something uh, that's uh, more six thousand mm -hmm. it's not ten thousand ten thousand is only when you affect the world in some way okay when your action affects 
the whole collective in some way then it's 10th house okay mm -hmm. a lot of people don't even go to 10th house a lot yes. of the people don't even ever go to 10th house you know they stay in 6th house mm -hmm. just simple work get thing get your paycheck get, yes, yes. you know like you know that so it, that is not 10th house okay so and 10th house sometimes only give you give, will give you problem d10 when you have something to do in the 10th house field mm -hmm. and you're not doing it so if rahu if rahu is in 10th house yeah. and you know if somebody is not concentrating on what what the soul what your soul is is need to do in this life yes is getting problem probably by a keto influence yeah yeah yes yeah. you're getting problem only because you are actually not doing what you're meant to do like you have a certain thing you have to do yeah and you don't do it okay then only problem and then only health problem can come from mm -hmm. that like you said like health problem from like that can only come if you're not doing that or you are doing something totally different from what you're supposed to do uh -huh. so if the people have both, <coughs> both things yeah if the people have a keto in six house yes many of them i i see that many of them want to go to india how yeah. you how you explain if it's yeah, see, because, because if you have ketu i'll explain very simply when you have ketu in 6th house rahu will be where 12th 12th okay so in 12th house rahu is always interested in foreign things hmm. rahu in 12th house will always give interest in foreign things and india is most foreign for any person in europe yes and west okay it's the definition of foreign it's the most foreign place like for example from poland if you go to germany okay it's foreign but it's not that foreign yes yes it's, it's nine okay. house probably yeah? <laughs> yeah if you poland you go to england it is foreign but it's not that foreign yeah from it's poland true. even if you go to america it is foreign but it's not that foreign okay but india is most yes is most and also spirituality is, is bigger yeah, yeah? And spiritual and totally different thing mm -hmm, totally mm -hmm. different thing and spiritual thing and rahu is interested in knowing mm -hmm. what is rahu interested in truth fact you know like the whole story was there of the amrit so rahu wanted to know where the amrit what is amrit where is the nectar divine nectar and it wanted to have the divine nectar so oh. it is always wanted to know the truth yeah of something okay so it will go wherever it thinks and wherever it feels mm -hmm. that truth is there and in the vedic thing the truth is there so but, but some people some people don't if they don't realize rahu influence mm -hmm. i can yes. see them as a very obsessed by rahu they they yes. they go so deep <clears throat> so strong yes. like obsessed you know like obsessed by the another another soul or another ghost it, it just they they doing very hard in this way and they yeah. don't want to see other options the, the that's also is seen yeah it's it's a it's a very strong drive strong drive and that depends on chart to chart because everyone's rahu in 12th will not be the same you I know, know because it's dispositive will be somewhere else yes, it's yeah. nakshatra will be something else since nakshatra lord will be somewhere else so there will be a lot of factors you can't mm -hmm. just say like people should never do that in jyotish just by one placement that it will be the same there will be some basic thing but as a whole it will all the results will be very different mm -hmm. so if the 12000 will connect to 8000 as well then more depth will happen what you're talking about mm -hmm. going very deep that will happen when 8th and 12th will connect yeah houses okay so that that is a different thing completely so so, so but in general rahu will always go for the facts and truth and in the most it does not matter how foreign the thing is to it you know some people get scared by foreign so, yeah is, is also by rahu if, have you said before that rahu wants to get the true uh, and i see many people with rahu in first house on second house they telling sometimes uh, not comfortable true to the public they a lot, yeah. lot of politicians who has a rahu in first house they 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 saying straightforward many many different uh, cases 
yeah, I, yeah, no, no, yeah. I, some, some saying lies and some of them, they telling really true, really, really true. Really true though, yeah. In both cases, in both the cases, you'll see that they themselves know the truth. <laughs> for Rahu, it's more important for it to know the truth. Ah. Whether it tells others or not is not so important. Uh -huh. It's a personal quest. But, but no. if can yeah. you control can you control Rahu? Can you if you know exactly what is your chart, what is the strong yeah. part of your chart, and if you if you code that in your subconscious, what is Rahu and how it, it works? You, do you have a control? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes, Gregory. All first, I'll say one thing. One time, people should hear and understand. One time. All grahas, all grahas can be controlled. All of them. Okay. So as a human being, you can control all grahas through discipline yeah. and through your own personal discipline. Okay. And your action in the present. From your action, if you do right action in the present, okay, yourself, no matter what the graha influences, you control mm. all the grahas. So, because many people, most of the people, afraid of grahas, that, for example, afraid of Saturn, afraid of Mars, but this is different energy. This is different energy, and each of them has a particular job, or they actually uh, vibrate. Uh, so you can't change the vibration. Yes. It's just kind yes. of vibration. Obviously, yes, obviously, in Rahu Ketu are most difficult. Ah. <laughs> okay, in that way, to control. Okay, I, what you can consider most difficult. Okay. But it they can be okay, then and that's called in concept in Vedic is called penance, tapasya. Sanskrit word is tapasya, it's called penance in English. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that is for any graha and Rahu Ketu also. So if like Rahu Ketu are giving problems or like people are going in a crazy manner mm -hmm. in that way, th then they can have self discipline, Saturn like. Mm -hmm. So that's yeah. why I always say Saturn is very important because once you have discipline. And basic that thing, then Rahu Ketu are more easily controlled mm -hmm. you know, because Saturn forms a backbone of Rahu Ketu. Okay, so so the more people, if you see anyone has strong Saturnine discipline and stuff, any person, you will find that they will be able to control Rahu Ketu energy uh -huh. more more easily. Mm -hmm. Like and anybody who does not have that will find it more difficult. You you can check this, mm -hmm. in, mm -hmm. like any people, like any so people even, you know. Even yeah. in Mahadasha, some people, yeah. when the Saturn comes, they have a very uh, slow and hard uh, uh, life uh, to exist. Yeah. And yeah. some of them, they, are, they, they have an even better, better time than in Sun Mahadasha. Yes. When yes. the Saturn comes. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, Saturn is a that thing, like it gives a that thing upon whatever your karmic balance is, mm -hmm. you know, and your current actions. So mm -hmm. it gives as per that. So, I mean, uh, some people might have a more uh, like worse time in sun because that's what their past thing is bringing. That sun mm -hmm. is like that in their chart. And Saturn might be better placed in their chart. So they'll get better results in Saturn. So it's different for every being. But what I'm saying is the, there's a thing called discipline, which is Saturnine, no matter even if you don't run Saturn Mahadasha. Okay. Even okay. if you're not running. You have a Saturnine nature, like, you know, you are disciplined about things, you know, you're disciplined about yourself, you're disciplined about your diet, you're disciplined about your posture, you're disciplined about all these things. Then, if a person lives like that, that person will have less problems in relation to Rahu Ketu. Mm -hmm. When they run their period or whatever, you can see that, you know, you can. You, yeah, you, yeah, you, I, can, I can see, for yeah. example, uh, yeah. uh, Rahu in the uh, 11 house, Sorry, not 11. Uh, yes, yes, Rahu in 11 house. Mm, yeah. A lot of people are experiencing very bad things from their friends. Uh, yes. If they have Rahu 11 house, uh, yes. they they doing business with friends, they set up the companies with friends, uh, and they getting finally <clears throat> lots of debts, a lot of uh, problems. So it seems that the opposite side exactly subconsciously know where these people have this Rahu. If Rahu... Yes. If they meet each other, they know exactly where is the Rahu of the person because yes. they're doing exactly the same things what Rahu should uh, experience in the 11th house. Yes, yes, yes. Bec and they do that thing. And again, in that, if they're disciplined, 
about these dealings and these when they do this start business or whatever with friends and if they're disciplined about it then they won't get the loss yeah. if they're not disciplined about it and they just do it just like that everything then they will get problems and losses and all kinds of things you know so so because they want to be accepted by the friends so yeah. they they not keeping the um, uh, control might be about yeah. this L lack of discipline in that yeah. area yeah lack and of actually, discipline in 11th house matters Yeah. What you saying? Lack of discipline in eleventh house matters. And you Rahu there, and you show lack of discipline in that, you will have issues. You know, yeah. so, so uh, like so that is automatic. Like Jim saying so like that's why Saturn and Rahu were considered similar things. You know, that's why Rahu Dasha goes for same time mm -hmm. as Saturn, mm -hmm. and they are considered similar in nature to each other. Yeah. So, and I yeah. also th this yeah. is my uh, consideration and my thoughts. And I, I, it has to be some true. I don't know that this is my question. If uh, this is like computer game, if you're going out, and on top of your head there is like Rahu in first house, Rahu eleven, Rahu twelve, and society and environment they can see or recognize where is your life, where is your life path, and then helping you, or they make some problems yeah, experiencing because the soul wants to get more experience in this sector. Mm -hmm. And they're yeah. getting this problem. So, like by yeah. the ego, they are unhappy. But the soul wants to really get experience, depending on where the Rahu is. Yeah. Yes, uh, both the points, Rahu and Ketu points, are things where you are vulnerable. Mm -hmm. You know, from the matrix. We are talking from the point of view of the matrix. Like yes, you know, yes. that's where the matrix hits at you more. Like wherever Rahu is, and Ketu, you get more. That thing from Matrix at that point, like attacks, like you know, like in the movie Matrix, yeah. Anderson attacks Neo. Yes, yes. Wherever Neo is vulnerable, okay. Wherever Neo has vulnerability, that's where the Mr. Anderson character, you know, like in the, the in this Neo, what, what do you think? I know it's a film, but uh, as an example of Neo, uh, where, where it should be the Rahu? In which house of uh, Neo should have the Rahu? What do you think? As a, as a mission, I mean, uh, like right now in these times, do you know what I'm saying? Like Rahu ninth and tenth is important, mm -hmm. okay? Because why is ninth ninth and tenth? Because ninth is the whole spiritual field, okay? Yes. Mm -hmm. So so warfare, the battle is in spiritual field, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, and tenth house is just the collective matter anyway, okay? So so those become important. Because it's the spiritual field and the collective matters. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's so. If you want to secure the victory or getting out of the matrix, it has to happen from those two. So it places. seems like Rahu Keto is a part of the matrix game. It seems... Yeah, it is part of the. That's why the exit points. They consider the exit points actually, and Ketu is the final exit point. So you mm -hmm. know, like it's Moksha Karaka. Mm -hmm. Since Moksha means like you are out of the cycle of birth and death. Yes. Yeah. So it's the exit point. Uh -huh. So if the Rahu thing is done fine, then the Ketu thing gives you a exit. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So it's like a gate out. You know, every maze has yeah. one out. Yes. You know, yes. Point. Yeah. and that out point is Ketu. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, But Ketu, Ketu is also. Uh, I see a lot of blockage in uh, with people. What they, for example, get to first house, they don't, they 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 behave. It's like uh, people very shy. They don't want to talk about them. They want, they don't want to take picture together. They don't want to travel. They don't want to nothing. They just hiding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because K two gives basically cutting off from the world. Cutting off. Okay, yeah. you cut off. Okay. Yeah. It gives you cutting off. You, so Ketu, that's how Ketu functions. That's how it gives you exit. Yeah. Because you are saying, look, I don't want this. I don't want that. I don't want this. I don't want this. I don't want this. I don't want this. Right? You keep on mm -hmm. everything you're saying. So then you don't want anything on earth. <laughs> okay. And then you say, okay, then I'm ready to go somewhere, which is better. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's how Ketu works. Okay. That's the nature of Ketu. So some people can um, become more negative. And depressed with Ketu energy, right? Yeah. Because you can get depressed. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. But so the thing with Ketu is like once you are 
uh, knowing that this is negative, this is not right, or this is nothing to do, then you should figure out what to do. So if a Ketu person figures out what is the right thing to do and starts doing that, then they will be positive. Mm. Because this because, is... So that's a good thing. Okay, someone knows I should not drink. I should not take drugs. Okay. So then it's good, right? You don't, you know that you shouldn't do these things. Okay. So that way Ketu is good then. Okay. When it's cutting, oh, I will not go to that thing. I'll not waste time, you know, doing nonsense. I will yeah, not... Yeah. Yeah, so uh, so Ketu is good in that way. Like, but then you have to know what to do too. A lot of time Ketu people do not come to the point what to do then. Okay, what is the thing to do? And that's why what I discuss in my book a lot. You know, yes, yes. Like in my Peace Gita book, that what should people do? Okay, many people because... asking, many people asking for the good uh, Vedic uh, uh, source of knowledge. Uh, so I really recommend the. Uh, Prash uh, books because I read many many different kind of mixed of different information but uh, I, I see in your books that this is really uh, connected with the true is is really you can use this knowledge in your personal life that, that's for sure uh, yes, yes and with K2 people it's very important mm -hmm. that they figure out what to do because then otherwise they'll become totally that thing disenchanted with everything and then they will not know what to do and then they become very difficult yeah. to be with or anything because they have no interest mm -hmm. in anything. Okay. Okay. They have no interest in anything. But if you are a human being with a body and you are on earth, you have to do something. You know, you have to do some action. Yes. You know, yeah. Until you are physically not moving, which is called death, you have to do some action. Okay. So for Ketu people to learn what to do. And once they come to know what to do, that comes from Rahu's side. What to do and what is the right thing to do. And when they do that right thing, that gives them satisfaction. Then Ketu people are more satisfied. You know, I am doing the right action. Yes. So when they get satisfaction, they get more, better. You'll see their mood is mm -hmm. better. Mm -hmm. Yes, I <laughs> no, see I better, a lot of depression. They're getting a lot of depression with yes, the strong yes. Ketu. How you, would you compare, uh, for example, Purnavasu or Maga, a strong uh, constellation on, in, in the moon uh, compared to Ketu in first house? Can you compare to this uh, similar? Yeah, like, I mean, uh, see Purnavasu, for example. Yeah. Purnavasu is a very uh, nakshatra which is more positive. Yes. Yeah, I see. Okay, so it's more positive. So mm -hmm. then uh, Ketu will not give that much negativity depression there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In Maga, it can give more because it's Ketu's nakshatra again and it you know Maga can have like some if uh, ego issues okay mm -hmm. so so if you if they don't feel like they are important enough or anything mm -hmm. as they want to be you know then they will not be feeling so sometimes they can, mm -hmm. yeah. sometimes so, they can have a Ketu first house with the strong um, I saw I saw uh, one chart with the Maga, Mula, and Purnavasu and Ketu first house. Very very strong Ketu influence. <laughs> yes yes yes. That, that's, yes. It's, but but Mula Mula is is what, what surprised me the most that people Mula yes. <clears throat> people I call them people of thousand questions. <laughs> yes. They they asking for many times the same thing yeah and they coming back. And asking the same thing, yeah. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> so, well, the thing is, is it, right, Mula is like root, okay. Yes. So yes. they want to get to the root of the issue. Okay. Yes. So until they are totally convinced, they have to be hundred percent convinced. Okay. Yes, yes. So they want to know how this thing works from the root. Okay. How is this thing? How is this thing? And if they don't think that they have gotten the answer fully, fully. they will keep on prodding more and more and more and more. So Mula is most like that because it is very, very wanting to get to root mm -hmm. issue. They're using different way. I, I know a lot, three days ago, one, one man, uh, he's Mula, uh, yeah. Mula Zodiac actually, but I see also this influence for these people and he can't find proper Vedic uh, calcula calculator for the chart. So they're using kind of you are wrong because I found this and this is different. This is different. So this is also the way to get <laughs> to the, get to the root. 
<clears throat> yeah, get to the get to the root to the, find the fact because you find hundred things, and hundred things don't are different, mm -hmm. but you don't know which thing is the real thing. Mm -hmm. So you test and try to find out which is the root thing, which is the actual thing. So it's good for research. Mm -hmm. Like it is good for research, and again, K two thing has to have some sort of getting to some root and as to what to do, and which is the real thing, what is the right thing. So which is K two strength? Okay, so. In that people should not get depressed and stuff. That's the main thing. So that's where uh, teaching like Jupiter positivity helps yeah. Ketu. Okay, like so that's why some guru teaching, showing the right way, showing the right path, that is important for Ketu. So that's why Jupiter and Ketu are considered in that way connected in Jyotish. So so the Jupiterian influence on Ketu is always good. Mm -hmm. And uh, like you know, Punarvasu is also ruled by Jupiter, the Nakshatra. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, that's why I said Ketu and Punarvasu will give less. Less because they are more positive. People. Because yeah. Jupiterian, yes, Jupiterian yeah. influence. Uh huh. Will come on it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so that's, yeah, that's why. You, that's you why. also, you also are probably Jupiter influence and Ketu nine in nine house yeah. because you you yeah. smiling quite a lot. Yeah, you smiling quite a lot. So is it is yeah, it? Yeah, the... yeah, I mean, uh, like Ketu is always happy. Once it knows what to do. Uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ketu is only like, like. Oh, no, I was just laughing uh, because I yeah, see this. Ketu is, really is always true. like, you know, I mean, uh, because first you're in confusion stage, you know, in new also, is confused first in the matrix. Once he comes to know this is matrix, I am trapped and I'm a slave and I'm that. He comes to know all of that, right? Now he's confused. Okay. When you're confused, that's not a good situation. Okay, but after the confusion, when you find the reality, when you come to know what you have to do, okay, that's when Ketu comes into that thing. So, first thing, the red pill, you know, Ketu is ready to take the red pill, you know, in, in the matrix. So, Ketu will take the red pill first. If you say, like, what do you want, blue pill, red pill, he'll take the red pill. Okay, Ketu will take it. Okay, but after that, it might get. Your sound is gone a little bit. I can't hear you. No, not, not as yet. I'm not getting it. What about now? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Yes. Okay. So, so the red pill was connected to to know or to don't know red pill because I, for, I for, forgot. Yeah. I mean, uh, I think like you can consider red pill, whatever for knowing, yeah. whatever is red pill is for knowing, like you know, uh, for knowing. Okay. blue pill is for just sleeping, you know, like not, uh, so the Rahu red is something more like danger, like, you know, like, uh, yes, like, yes. Danger. like okay. K2 is connected to what Mars, right? Mm -hmm. K2 is same more Mars energy. So it is for red. Okay. Where, you know, you can handle that. Yeah. So it'll always go for red pill. If a K2 person, you ask them. To know is red pill, eh? you know, like yes. when you want to know, like yeah. uh -huh. the truth, uh -huh. you know. So Ketu person will also say, "Yeah, give it to me." Like, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. yes. Yeah. So you mean the Rahu doesn't want to know? And Rahu also wants to know. Yeah, but Rahu has a different way of knowing. Yes, yes, I, I'm yeah. uh, totally agree because many people afraid uh, to go the, the the path when the Rahu is. They afraid, for yeah. example, yeah. if the they have a Rahu seven house, they afraid. Yeah. To get marriage, or they sometimes they often they don't don't getting married. They just live uh, just together, but they afraid of this uh, house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rahu is not so that thing. So if Rahu wants to know the truth and that thing, it'll try to figure it out on its own. Like it'll not be like someone else giving it a blue pill or red pill. Uh -huh. So then, if you ask Rahu people blue pill, red pill, Rahu people will say I won't take none and neither. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but is Rahu is also clever. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Rahu, Rahu person will say, "I won't take neither." Like Jim saying, you know, like it's. it's, it's uh... But Rahu is quite clever. Yeah, is is very clever yeah, to yeah, in the yeah, sector yeah, what yeah, he yeah. does. Even if it's new, new sector. Yeah. When he go there, he yeah. he always looking all different way to to experience this. So it yes, seems yes. very wise. Yes. Wise. Yes. Yes. And but both of them are 
keen on figuring the matrix out. The good thing is about both is that they are both keen uh -huh, uh -huh. to figure out the matrix. So, so and to figure a way out or like to figure this out, like what is all this? What is this world? What is this? Where are we? Yes. All these questions mm -hmm. are there in Rahu Ketu. Okay. So that is a good thing. So no one should be afraid of that because these kind of questions can lead to answers and will make you more satisfied and mm -hmm. more uh, enlightened yeah. compared to other people. Who, so you don't want to stay in ignorance. You know, so either a Rahu person or a Ketu person, they do not want to stay in ignorance. That's for sure. So it's yeah, better yeah. to keep good relationship with the Rahu and Ketu to know them. Yeah. Actually, to know yeah. them, to control them is the same, the same word. In yeah. this and, and obviously, like a lot of people who say, like, I don't want to know anything. Oh, there I is. Want to stay. Yeah, okay, then Rahu Ketu get problem. Oh. <laughs> Those people they cannot handle. <laughs> uh, Earlier okay. or later, they will they will uh, need to force this, needs to face the the problem. Yeah, yeah, and they they, they were the ones who have more problem. Mm. You in in their personal life, people it create these people these energies create a more of a havoc mm. in their lives. You know they don't want this change, but change happens. Yeah, you know. But yeah. example, yeah. it's good that I'm, I have you uh, that I can ask because uh, lastly, uh, do, have you heard about Admiral Bert? Admiral Bert who went to Inner Earth. American uh, soldier, Admiral Bert. Uh, who uh, I've heard some stories of Inner Earth. Yeah, different that he flight over the poles, that he yeah. flight and he flight inside the Earth to Inner Earth. Yeah, yeah. yeah. When he, uh, there is his date of, on astro.com. Uh, so in Vedic, he has a Rahu 8 house. And the, yes. the question is that he always, all life, he was, uh, he had to keep some secrets because of, he was Admiral of American Army. And yeah. also he keep a lot of secret as a, as a, as a, as a Admiral. Uh, almost Admiral Bird, yeah, I, I've, I've heard about Admiral, Admiral Bird. Admiral Bird. Yes, Bird. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I've heard about that. Yes, yeah. so it's a story that he he went to the inner earth and he met the civilization who lived there, and the king of the civilization, uh, he wanted to speak with him and he passed him the secret information to pass to the American government. But yes. uh, the question the question is that is a lot of people would have a, would have Rahu in eight house. This is the I. Eight house of different, different, uh, all different secrets. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yes. If they subconsciously know that this Admiral Bird has this Rahu eight, that they're the giving, they giving him this kind of mission, like to to force in this life this secret, or how would you interpret it that these people will? No, Rahu obviously, eight? like uh, you, you are going into unknown territory. Okay. What is eight house? Eight house is simply one unknown territory. Second, second house is what? Known. Your Known. family. Mm -hmm. You that thing. You know that. Mm -hmm. You know, like your family uh, being uh, around you. Yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah. second house is whatever you know. Mm -hmm. What is around you, right? So eight house is that. What? Opposite. You opposite, don't know. Opposite. Unknown, yeah. unknown territory. So he even there was a story that he went on the side of Antarctica ahead and then he met the other there is another land on top side of antarctica which he co contacted which yes. he said was bigger than america like yes yeah yes. yeah so so basically he's going to un, whether he's going to an inner earth story or the outer earth mm -hmm. it's uh story is that he's going to unknown territory mm -hmm. okay it's so, unknown yes the eighth house is like two two different worlds one world yeah. what you know and that it's a gate like a border of the life and death or this life or previous life you, you can compare the eighth house as a as a gate to the like like in the stranger things film stranger things like yeah yeah, yeah. but different from 12th 12th is the gate to under life 12th yeah, yeah. okay like when you finish death yeah. and then you go eighth is unknown things out here right now mm -hmm. there are a lot of unknown territories yeah. right now on earth mm -hmm or within the psychic realm or spirit realm or physical realm the unknown things of right now that is eighth house 
But it's also okay. astrology house, isn't it? Yeah, because the astrology, a lot of and things were unknown. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Yes. That's why. Any unknown territory. You know, like sometimes you go to some place, you never don't know this place. You might be people there, you don't know people there, you don't know. Like, you know, like whenever you don't know, mm -hmm. yeah. you don't know the place. Do, you can't do, find it on Google Maps. You can't find it on. <laughs> but in this case, Admir Albert has a Rahu. Rahu, which his, his soul wants to experience it in this life. But uh, let's say uh, Edward Snowden, who has totally opposite. He had the cat to eight, cat to eight house. Yeah. Edward, you know Edward Snowden, the, the guy who, who wants to who worked for CIA as a, as a computer guy and he had to also keep the secret, but finally <clears throat> he couldn't keep the secret so long. So this cat yeah. wants to tell, yeah? Because no, had, it's Rahu in the second, which is telling. Uh, uh, Rahu. <laughs> Rahu. Rahu in the second. He, he can't he can, he can just keep the secrets, yeah? Rahu. Yeah, Rahu in the, because Rahu is the head, yeah. is the face. Is, is gonna speak. Yeah. <laughs> so CIA should know this. CIA, CIA should know this and they didn't check. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, the face in the second will speak. Mm. And that is his image, isn't it? To speak. He's speaking out the yes. uh, the secrets, you know? So so that's the Rahu second house. Yeah, the, the, the house of the speech. And also he had yeah. a, a Libra moon. I, yeah. I, I don't remember it was Fatih, probably it was Fatih yes. uh, in the moon. So Libra is also a uh, justice. So mm, he wanted yes. to tell uh, to the people. Yeah, but, and the thing is like, uh, if he thinks something unfair is going on. Mm -hmm. So if his life is in danger in, in the second and eighth house, you can say that these people have a life in danger? Yeah, I mean, there is some danger in eighth house always. Mm -hmm. You know, eighth house is unknown. Yeah. If you go to unknown, like right now, if you go to some unknown land, unknown island, you've never been there. Okay. And you go there right now. So there'll be some danger. Yes. Well, probably it, increased. It, yeah. 8,000, there's some danger, you know. Uh, and, but uh, only if something wrong, bad will only happen when 12,000, 6,000, 8 connect. Mm -hmm. it, by just by 8, nothing bad will happen. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Because many people are afraid of this uh, 8 house. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm uh, very often... Uh, explaining uh, that this is depending on how you understand this uh, this sector yeah because eight house yes. like a, a, any other houses actually can be dangerous yeah. because like yeah yeah but eight house is more unknown and people have fear of the unknown so eight house will all, all obviously be more feared yeah because there is a fear of the unknown unknown <laughs> Yeah. Like Scorpio, like Scorpio is also unknown uh, sign and people have very often they say, I don't like Scorpio sign because it's unknown. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> Unpredictable. Yeah. So 8,000 Scorpio, all of these things, we come into the unknown and people have fear of the unknown. Yeah. So that's why there is more fear about this than other houses. Yes. That's, yeah. that's why if you see Scorpio eyes, like for example, Mike Tyson has a Scorpio, big Scorpio influence. And before his fight, uh, the opponent, when he looked his eyes, <laughs> he saw unknown. So this, yeah. he was actually losing uh, the fight before the fight start because yeah. his eyes uh, like was hypnotizing the opponent. Uh, yeah. He was a big unknown. Before yeah. So, I mean, and, and they don't know how, like even in boxing, they would not know how he will react. Yes, yes what, yes. what the opponent will do, you don't know what he's going to do. Yes. So, yes. <laughs> so if you don't know, then uh, you can't have any tactic or plan mm. against that, right? Like, if you have no idea what something is going to do. So, so this is like dark then, forest, yeah? Like yeah, so, dark yeah, so fear, fear of the unknown is always that thing. So mm. that's why it's very important if people go into the 8th house mm -hmm. to have a good actual uh, ninth house sort of thing where you are very clear in terms of your spiritual thing. Mm -hmm. So when you are strong in your spiritual way, then it's easier to go into it. Mm -hmm. It's easier, yeah. That's for yeah sure. Because then uh, you have the courage and the strength to face that unknown. Because you need courage. Okay. Mm -hmm. And courage can only come from doing right action. 
and being very sure about you that your spirit is in the right way mm -hmm. then you have strength and courage once you have that strength and courage then you can go into eighth house i don't think people should go into that <laughs> until they have developed enough strength in ninth so ninth house is more important mm -hmm. in that for eighth house so so once your ninth is ready then eighth is just a foreign house for ninth right 12th from 8th, 9th, right? Yeah. So you just, you're ready to go into that foreign land. <laughs> yeah. Yes, many people were traveling. Uh, yeah. Europe, yeah, nine house, uh, yeah. Rahu or Ketu. Uh, yeah. Why do you think? Yeah, just for example, like if you want to go to foreign land right now, travel anywhere, like when you want to travel anywhere, what do you first want? First, you see whether you are uh, healthy or not. Like your first house is your health, right? Your first house. Yeah. You first check whether I am feeling like if you are feeling sick, okay, you don't want to travel or go on yeah. the flight to yeah. foreign land. Okay. So if you, you feel first you are healthy or not, that's what you see first. Okay. Once mm -hmm. you are healthy, then you say, okay, I can travel now. Okay. Mm -hmm. So first thing you see, the same way ninth house health is there. If ninth house is healthy, then you can go to eight. <laughs> Mm -hmm. If ninth because house health is going there, back, backwards, twelfth house because eight is twelfth from ninth. Yeah. Oh. So you don't go there until your ninth is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So ascend, yeah. So ascendant is not important in that. Nine thousands. Mm -hmm. Just for going to foreign land, twelfth house. Foreign land is twelfth house, right? So you say check the first house, where the first house is working. Mm -hmm. Okay. In this, you check where the ninth house is working. Then you go into unknown area. Any kind of unknown, it's okay. It's okay to do that after that. Yeah. Uh, if, if for example, um, somebody have Ketu, like we have both nine house Ketu, uh, so why you traveling a lot? Also, I'm traveling a lot, but but this is kind of uh, sometimes you feel that you don't need it, yeah. That you you travel sometimes you need to go there somewhere, yeah. but there is no really big purpose to go, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, I mean, uh, is, because is... traveling of Ketu can be any kind of thing. Traveling is not physical with ninth house mm -hmm. in Ketu. Because even you physically at some one place, you can still travel. Yes. Yeah, okay. the, the travel, yeah. there's a lot of, but some people are afraid to yeah. travel, some uh, with yeah. Ketu. And, uh, but, but, yeah. Ketu, but you can't can, you can just cut it off. A lot of people want to cut it off the Ketu and just concentrate only on, on Rahu. But this yeah. is in my case, my Ketu is in third house. Rahu is in ninth. Okay. Yeah. yeah, so I have no problem in that way to travel physically as well. But, um, but, but even in Ketu, sometimes ninth house, people would not want to physically travel. Okay. Uh -huh. Ketu in ninth. They would not want to physically travel, but they would want to travel in other ways. You know, like you are sitting and you are looking at internet, mm -hmm. okay, or going online, then you're going everywhere. Yeah. Without going everywhere. Do you understand? Uh -huh. Yes, yeah, yeah, I understand. So, so Ketu likes that. Mm -hmm. Ketu likes that more. Rahu has to go more personally. But Ketu is fine mm -hmm. just going through internet. But, but third, okay. third house is also short uh, distance travel, yeah? The third yes. house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so that's why Ketu is always fine going online even. Mm -hmm. In this day and age. This online, yeah, because third yeah. house uh, communication yeah. Yeah, online. Yeah, yeah. So, so Ketu is fine with that. <laughs> okay, like just going. Not physically going, mm -hmm. but going in that way. Mm -hmm. Mentally going. Mentally, mentally. Yeah. Yeah. But but uh, <clears throat> this first third house is also is like Gem Gemini uh, influence house, but uh, I see is th is this all twelve sector is huge. I mean it, sometimes people uh, compare two professions, uh, all professions connected with uh, one house, and they 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 think how this is possible that one profession is so extremely different from the another. But both yeah. profession going in the same house. Uh, how this is? You mean is it the frequency of the job? What you can do? What which is connected to the one house? Yes, yes. Because I mean, each house also like even in communication field, you have thousands of different kind of communication things. Yes, yeah. You know, 
So like, like the El, Elvis Presley was third yeah. house, yeah. Elvis Presley. Yeah. His daughter yeah. had the Ketu, third house. Yeah. So yeah. she wants to experience the father, nine house. And yeah. Elvis played. Yes, yes. Oh. yes. So this is the third house, yeah. Uh, yeah. I have a Rahu in third house. So yeah. when sometimes many weird things happening uh, in the Rahu in third house wants to experience communication problem. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Some, yes. I remember I ordered the last year, I ordered a new laptop and I got broken, broken. I got broken laptop, yeah. New, yes, yes. I bought it new. Yes. And I knew after that this is Rahu in the, in the third house wants to experience all the technical problem. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. So yes, it's yes. really weird this, this Rahu. Yeah, because uh, then it wants to, you to look into what is the thing, what is the right one, what is the right thing, where is the, that thing. Yeah. So it makes you work in that area. <laughs> in that area, yeah. But if, you know, but if you yeah. know exactly 100%, let's say that you uh, experience many many different things you understand rahu in fact how so clearly like 100 yeah. percent another people wants to also experience you in this less or or, or how they'll you take your advice then they'll take advice so if you know about it properly then people who have that same problem they uh -huh. will take your advice mm -hmm. then you can tell them yes i know but uh, you mean i mean if you're going out uh, and the society, they subconsciously know that you have Rahu in Fat House. Yeah. If, you, if you are conscious that you have Rahu in Fat House, yeah. so I, pre, I presume that they don't have to experience you so much if they subconsciously know that you getting this knowledge about the Fat House. Yeah, so, the, so then, then you are sorted. It's called sorted. You have coherence and you're sorted in that. Yes. Then the trouble will not be so much and they will not yes. bother you. So the, so the reaction you can compare to the grahas because the grahas yeah. always experience you if you know yeah. the yeah. they don't experience you actually we are talking about weird things yeah the more you come to know yeah. the less the problem yeah. yes yeah yes yeah from outside and inside yes but uh, what is important yeah. what i want to underline and uh, what do you think about this that many in the past many people um, they connecting astrology to the religion because they afraid grahas they if they they talking gods yeah they talking they are gods because yeah. they don't know them and they think that the grahas has a particular reason to control someone's life but this is actually nature yeah this is actually yes, nature and what is controlling coming from the graha is also your own action from yeah. past this is like a so, mirror yeah so you have created that energy field you have created energy frequency you have created yourself mm -hmm. and now you're experiencing like in english there is a that thing when you make your bed you have to sleep in it as well yeah yes <laughs> yes yes when yeah, you I make know. your bed you have to sleep in it as well so you are creating it mm -hmm. and grahas are just a thing with through which it is coming to you it is a conduit so so if the people saying I'm afraid of Saturn. This is the wrong question because yeah. they are afraid on themselves. They are afraid on they themselves afraid because they, they are lazy to do anything. They are lazy they, they, to... They are, they are afraid of their own laziness. <laughs> yes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the point what I want to achieve in this interview yeah. Uh, yeah. because this is very important. One of the most important uh, uh, way of thinking to understand yeah. astrology yeah. is that... Yeah. We can't yeah. connect with religion. This is the most important thing because yeah. this is not the grahas. This is like uh, nature. This is this is you. This is this is actually oneness. Yeah, this is uh, oneness. Being afraid of Saturn means like you are saying that I can't do the right thing when I need to do something. Like yeah. if I need to do X thing anytime, yes, I won't be able to do it. <laughs> if I need to do Y thing sometime, I won't be able to do it. You know, you are saying that I will not do it or I don't want to do it or yeah. You have some attitude problem. So basically, it's not like you're afraid of Saturn. You're afraid of your own incompetence or your own inability to do things. Yes. And I, I can give you an example. Three women, uh, three sisters, sorry. They yeah. send me, they ask me where the Rahu is. Both three sisters, differences 35 years old, 40 years old, 42. Yes. 
they free, they have Rahu seven house. Exactly the same D1 chart, seven house. And I, they, call, they, they want to find out why they not married, that why, why they don't have a luck to get, uh, find proper husband, uh, getting yeah. set, set up the family. Yeah. And I, I ask only one question. Uh, uh, did you have a boyfriend or did, I'm afraid of the boyfriend, I'm afraid of them, I'm, I'm looking for particular, specific, from abroad, from uh, rich men. I said to her, if you want yeah. to, this is only excuse, yeah, because yeah. they afraid Rahu in this, in this sector. So if they yeah. afraid, it's delay and of course, they not forcing this, they not getting this, what they particular, uh, yeah, because uh, I think and even seventh house should not be just taken as marriage or partner. Because seventh house is actually any one person you deal with. Yeah. Seventh house is just any person you always interact with. Any person you deal with any day, anytime, like even for boxer, like the person in the opposite side of the ring is seventh house. Mm -hmm. Okay. Like so any person you deal with in front of you, like if I'm dealing with you right now, then you are seventh. Okay, seventh is any person you deal with. Yes, yes, opposite. Face, face to face. Mm -hmm. So in that, any other dealings will suffer. It's not so much about marriage or this or that thing. It is about any dealing. Any dealing, yes. But any this dealing. is connected to, yes. to these people because if they want yes. to, yes. If they don't want to. Mm. And that's more, more important, like how they deal with other beings. Mm. That's more important than just, okay, it's okay not to have a boyfriend or not a, that thing. Not everybody has to have a husband or a family. That's not necessary. Yes, yes, I know. But but dealing with other people, everyone has to have. Because you'll have to sometimes deal with yes. some other human being, right? So in that, how it goes, that you should have a that thing, energy mm -hmm. proper for that. So they have to learn how to... You're getting opinion from the seventh house, yeah? opinion from yeah. the people. Or not opinion, just even dealing with them in any way. De Dealing, yeah. yeah. But dealing, if you have, mm -hmm. yeah, because once you are in this multiverse, you are a being, and there are other beings. At some point, you will have to deal with the beings. So to deal in the right way, in the mm -hmm. proper way, appropriate English word is appropriate. How to be appropriate in your dealings? So, like depending mm -hmm. on different beings. So, so. But we're talking. So, uh, we're talking about two different worlds. One, yeah. you know, what is what is the seven house and Rahu there, yeah. or Ketu. Yeah. And, and another world, people don't know nothing about astrology influence, so they, they just, their action is... Very confused, hard. they're very confused, very confused. Confused, yeah. Confused. Very confused, I, yeah, and that's what I'm saying, that people should l learn, even if they don't, don't know astrology, mm -hmm. if they don't know Jyotish, they should still uh, want to know, like, how to deal with different beings. Everyone can learn, like. Like what level of being something is when you are dealing with this person, how to deal when you're dealing with that person, how to be, you know, that knowledge, yeah. that knowledge should, can be still worked. This is a, yeah. like diet for everybody. Yeah? The books yeah, about yeah. diet for everybody it, It's impossible yeah. to, yeah. does not exist diet for everybody because everybody yeah, yeah. is different. Yeah, if everybody yeah. is different. So you dealing with yeah, other so people, you have to understand that one day you meet the, uh, a cheerful, nice uh, person. Another day you meet uh, in, in uh, Nakshatra day, what brings you very problematic or... Yeah, yeah. So, so then how to deal in the right, appropriate way with different beings. And that kind of thing is comes from seventh house. Mm -hmm. so, so that learning has to happen as a whole. So, so that, um, that is an area of learning for beings. So, and that's an important area. And even a lot of my interviews and a lot of my book, I deal with that topic, you know, because there are beings in this multiverse, mm. all kinds of beings. Even if you're on this plane, earth, even if you go to some other plane, even if you go to heaven, okay, then there'll be beings there. Okay. Oh, yeah. Again, so again, Actually, you know, we, yeah. we are all aliens. Yeah. We are all yeah. aliens being, because we see our yeah. bodies. We see our yeah. bodies. You looks like you looks, I'm looks like yeah. you looks, but yeah. I don't know your soul and you don't know my soul, yeah? Because you yeah, can't yeah. see it. Yeah. But people can see. It doesn't mean that, that you're dealing with wrong, wrong person. Maybe this is the teaching yeah, yeah. for so, you. Yeah? So the knowledge of who you're dealing with, that knowledge yeah. Yeah. of who exactly you're dealing with is important in the multiverse. So, and people should work to find that knowledge. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? I think that beings need to mm -hmm. get to that point because it's a very important point. 
Yeah. Because if you don't know what you're dealing with, you don't know how to deal with it. Like. <laughs> <laughs> so, it, it, so consciousness. It, consciousness is very important. When you call it, yeah. it is yeah. information yeah. in your consciousness. This is like. Yeah. Uh, a corporation fight about your consciousness to uh, to yeah. set there buy this product after six months buy this products and particular product so so this information about the um, how to deal with or generally in, in all this kind of uh, knowledge is important yeah. not consciously because consciously you can forget about after one month two months you can totally be clear yeah. <laughs> you don't remember yeah. nothing but yeah. uh, but, uh, but uh, your, uh, your uh, spirit memory your spirit memory your spirit. memory memory yes, yeah. it, it carries all that not consciousness I, I said wrong word subconsciousness subconsciousness if they yeah. got it then this is for all life okay. all life yeah yeah so and i think uh, beings need to learn i think that's a big thing on earth right now people need to know which being they're dealing with what is the level of that being so people mm. have to figure out what level because Level doesn't mean by the position on society. Like somebody is a like minister or prime minister or president in a country. <laughs> so people think that this is an important person, right? Because they have this, but they don't know that they might not be so important on spirit level. Okay. Yes. So 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 people uh, go by the things of this world, but they don't go by what the actual level is of beings. So they have to. The more people go into the ketu lens and eyes then you start looking at that what is the spirit level mm -hmm. okay because the being is a spirit more yeah. body yeah. goes comes goes your uh, uh, rank whether you're president or not that goes comes goes it's not permanent but the spirit thing is more your real thing stable yes yes it's more so, so to look at that level mm -hmm. is the more important level okay so I think even Ketu Rao people who have first around 7,000 access. Okay, they, that's a good thing for them. They can more uh, focus and concentrate on that side. They have energy, they that, yeah? energy. Yeah, if they do that, then they will not have problem. Mm -hmm. Now okay. Ketu will not give them problem. If they try and find out that level of interaction. Uh -huh. yeah. So ha they have to be brave to, to start with searching, searching information. Yeah. That's the, then will be then Rahu yeah. is happy, yeah. That you, yes, yeah. no, Rahu get, do both are happy, they both, yeah. Both, <laughs> <laughs> they are very extremely uh, yeah. energies. The yeah. what do you think the NASA claim that NASA or other uh, some some um, scientists that they found invisible two moons around the around the earth? No, what they are all joke, like you know, that NASA is just. Telling stories, stories. I know, I know, lying, I know. Lying, but lying. this this kind of information about the uh, uh, unseen uh, uh, moons, yeah, I don't yeah, know. Unseen, unseen. I mean, they right now they just say the even the seen moons don't exist. Then unseen obviously will not like. I mean, it's a joke. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> they're just trying to confuse people more. The ones who actually believe in their things. Mm -hmm. you know, there are people who believe still. Like at some point, it will be clear to everyone. I think it will be public that NASA is fake. That will be public at some point, but mm -hmm. until then, you know, like they are fooling people with this kind of information, like because they can. They, they, they can. Sorry that I'm yeah. telling you, but they can, yeah. In this, yeah, this, they can. This, just, just, yeah, just, they can. They, this, they can tell the cartoon every day because they know yeah. that the people will react. Uh, the NASA is NASA, so everybody yeah. has to believe. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. I mean the same way. So. I mean, so Ketu Rao kind of thing should not just go by this. Like you shouldn't go by this NASA or this is president or this is this thing. This is not Ketu Rao thing. Ketu Rao thing is you have to come to the real fact. Real yes, truth. yes, yes. Real thing, not yes. any of this. This is um, like NASA said about uh, the yes. snake, uh, another 13, the 13th additional zodiac. Uh, yeah. So first, yeah. first of all, the NASA don't know about Vedic astrology, but they're telling about 13th additional and snake uh, sign connected yeah. uh, between i mean that way like that uh, particular snake you know which they talk about uh, that uh, snake which is there in the sky that mm -hmm. is uh, going that's a very big one around the north pole mm -hmm. in the, around the pole star that mm -hmm. is alpha draconis draconis that constellation that goes through like 10 signs 
that's very big uh-huh. <laughs> so if you to look at the eclipse like, <laughs> it'll cover like 10 <laughs> uh-huh. i mean signs i mean yeah. the, 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 the draconis constellation is quite huge i mean yeah. that's not any sign and it is above the it's not in the ecliptic signs are only on the ecliptic you know signs yeah. are only placed on the ecliptic you know yeah and this is not even on the ecliptic so you can't see the star constellations below the ecliptic and above the ecliptic and turn them into signs too that yeah. you know you, you don't do that but but nasa can do anything i mean they can just say anything i mean there is no um uh, just like a hollywood movie can have any kind of script you know no one can say anything against hollywood script like why is the movie like this and what is this and what is being said like but uh, i i can tell you bit there has to be something in the hollywood i don't know who is passing this information but in the films you can see a lot of different uh, hidden knowledge hidden subjects yeah, yeah obviously they give message they give this much message yeah and then they cover it with this much nonsense yeah i know i know but yeah. what yeah. is the reason i just this is this is what excites me the most why is the reason or is it just one a uh, global it's like pro- a way, way way of telling that we have told the masses so i mean in your opinion is there is all bad people who wants to get ignorance into the people to to don't get knowledge or is there is some people i mean there is a force which they know that they want you want to protect yourself you want to say that we have informed the masses of the right thing mm-hmm. but they did not listen okay okay, okay. so so so, so if you tell me this information bad people yeah, or good people, people? Who, who want to who want to like say like okay i'm going to do this okay and then you say like i'm going to do this and then you put it this out and then you do that there's less karma for that mm-hmm. so so in your opinion yeah. the the bad people they will pass you a bit uh, right information because they know how you react on this yeah because they think mostly people can't find that out even they think most people mm-hmm. cannot figure it out there there is Because, a, the, the last yeah. film uh, like and I, people who can figure it out then that's fine you know like majority of the masses they think public cannot figure mm-hmm. out mm-hmm. what the point of the information is you know like what the important bit is they can't figure that out okay mm-hmm. so and they will be lost in all the other the the, the the last film i don't know if you watched the the title is the the sea the sea to see to see uh this is 2019 film and it shows uh, after some catastrophe on, on earth everybody born blind the people can mm-hmm. see everybody born blind and some of the children born that they can see and these children uh, they are attacked as a witches uh, because they can see so they have so this is a, a, the, the the story what they want to tell this is what happening now yeah actually yeah it's right now yes right now some mm. people can see and majority are blind okay yes yeah so very few can see and people are blind so what this is not any future thing yeah yes yeah, yeah. right now <laughs> right now <laughs> yes so, so they, but they, they will not say in the movie this is right now they will say like this yeah. is some most people bo- uh, yeah. born blind so they exist uh, walking fishing but they they don't know what is to see and yeah, some yeah, yeah. some uh, children very unique yeah. they born so everybody wants to attack attack them they have to escape because they see this they just only see but they are blamed as a witch yeah in the sense like a society will not right now also the blind people will not believe the people yeah. like if somebody who can see and they can say oh i can see this but blind person cannot see yeah. so the blind person will say oh you are telling me the wrong i can't see but you are saying this is yes this. and and, so, and in this movie and in this movie this 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 daughter of the mom who, who is blind the daughter yeah. said who can see uh, selling to the mom mom i found the uh, ancient books there is some writing i can there is also instruction how to read it i learned to this and the mom says leave it leave it this is bad this is not good everybody will they kill you they will kill you <laughs> so this is yeah. the, like a information to the masses that uh, this yeah. consciousness will rise uh, some uh, some people will will pass the inform- good information and most will be reaction will be that they will attack this like what's what's doing uh, what's happening yeah. now actually what's what's happening right now but again so yeah because this is a current situation right now but the good thing is that more people are waking up and yeah. more people will get eyes so if the number of people who have the eyes 
that increases, then it becomes easier and it's not so uh, like um, hard for them because they'll have numbers as well. When that number is less, then there is more problems. But when the number increases, which is increasing now, <laughs> yeah. like, I mean, uh, five years ago, not many people knew about flat earth. Now, millions of people do. Okay, so some people's eyes got opened to what the earth is or not it is. You know, like, so a lot of eyes got opened about different things. So, mm -hmm. so it will be more of a that thing. We will see how the game plays. And they're just talking about this game in this movie. I haven't seen this movie. I'm just hearing, hearing it from you. So, it's it's good movie. Yeah. Actually, uh, if you if you if you see the film as a as an information or com comparison to the nowadays situation, it's a brilliant yeah. film. But if you yeah. want to watch like like just typical film, yeah, normal film with yeah. the blood uh, and and fights and, but uh, yeah. I'm especially focusing. This is ex exactly another thing. If you know that you can get some uh, information or what they want to pass from Hollywood, you're yeah. watching. Film different way. Yeah, I mean, there are a lot of uh, information was given in Snowpiercer as well, the movie Snowpiercer, which came out. Right? I don't know, Snowpiercer. I don't uh -huh. know if you've seen it. So I have to, I have to see. It, there's a train, you can see it, like, like okay, and then. Mm -hmm. so, so, I mean, there are some films which they've taken out, and a lot of the films which they're taking out right now all have, uh, uh, like, uh, destruction of Dest Earth. Yes, yes. They, yes. All of the films have one theme that there'll be uh, an like a destruction of things so every movie has that yeah yeah i see yeah. i see end of civilization yeah. end of uh, probably they talking about end of pisces era beginning of yeah. Yeah. Era. And, and, and because this is the end of a particular kind of existence yeah and the game you know like they have a game right now that game is going to end yeah and they know it okay so so they're just putting it out oh. in this sort of but oh. what is the reason why they put in this out to, to scare people or yeah yeah to scare people and uh, to take the narrative in their direction you oh, know, okay, okay. when there is a narrative you want to control the narrative you you have nothing to lose so you ha you yeah. can agree with them yeah, yeah, yeah buy yeah, another yeah. credit card uh, buy this buy that buy that because you yeah, you have yeah. nothing to do you have yeah. nothing to lose you just yeah. is 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 just totally to be upset and there is no future <laughs> there is no yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah to create a desperation desperation yeah and depression yeah yeah and depression and, fast. and they take your time taking your time and depression and desperation yes 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 so i mean all of that will happen but because there is a reality reality is that things are going to change and a change is coming then they know that so that is the reality so uh, people have to keep with that reality and that's mm -hmm. how it is and so thank you very much uh, prash uh, yeah. for today's so, interview and then uh, yeah. I, I think it will be great uh, part of information uh, for, yes. for our public and uh, let's talk and, and the yeah. peace guitar i think uh, it will come out in polish soon so yes. we will keep, we can keep the people informed about that and uh, you know so so the, uh, the, People asking for this peace, peace guitar uh, if they can uh, learn astrology also, but and also yeah. another part of people asking what, what is the basic, what to start to understand. Okay, you astrology. you get this book, read this before learning astrology. Mm -hmm. If you don't, that thing you will not have the foundation. Foundation, yeah. To to get into astrology, mm -hmm. to, even before going into astrology, you should know all these things. First level. There are some things you need to know before mm -hmm. jumping. You know, like ninth house. I said today, yeah. if a ninth house is settled, then go into eighth house. Mm -hmm. uh -huh, okay. Once ninth house is clear, then go into eighth house. Mm -hmm. eight, let's say eighth house is astrology. So the, the book, eighth house is astrology. You know, it's yeah. yes, astrology, astrology. Yes, yes. Yeah. Okay. So once you get the ninth house set ready, the knowledge, the basics, yeah. Yeah, then peace guitar. So get this book, get the ninth house ready, then mm -hmm. only go into astrology. Yeah. So it's for astrology once you have gotten this basic. Okay. Yeah. Thank okay. you once again. Okay. Thank you very much for today, okay. and uh, uh, let's talk in another interview soon. Okay. All okay. the best. Thank you. Very nice.